Okay, hello again, everyone. Uh, we are back with more Amori. Uh, last time we played hide and seek, we had a battle with the boss. We bought things from a shady mailbox, and now we're on our way to Basil's house. Oh, I thought the music got creepy for a second. It, it did not. <laughs> Train station, Pinwheel Forest, Basil's house. Wow. House must be very important that there's a sign pointing to it. Instead of wandering around, I will actually go the direction that I'm supposed to go this time. Oh. A watering can. Flowers! These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face toward the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. It's worrying to me. Uh, I don't know what it means, but it's worrying to me that Basil looks so colorful in this overworld, but when they talk, they're just gray. A watering can. Like, what is- what does that mean? These- these flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. What are you? Whoa! What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Kel? That's a sprout mole. And what do you mean ugly? Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become dangerously vicious when they're lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that. You're stumping over with all the flowers. He's upset because he is lost. Oh, hello? Okay. No, don't be angry. Uh, looks like this sprout mole is angry. Uh, like us, sprout moles also feel emotions. Since this sprout mole is angry, its attack is higher. Oh, being angry makes your attack higher. Okay. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. Okay. Interesting. So what you're saying is, now's the perfect time to strike. Come on, Amori. Let's do this. Okay. I'll just attack with everybody then, if it has low defense. And see how hard it hits. <laughs> also, Basil doesn't join in on the fighting. Which is interesting. Oh no! I feel bad. <laughs> he was just lost. Wow. You found tofu. All right. <laughs> Was he just carrying tofu and we stole it from him? Level two. Nice. Ah, uh, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey, Amori. And now that we're getting the hang of battling, here's a journal where we can keep track of neat foes we come across. Hero gave you the faux fax journal. There, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it out through your pocket in the player menu by pressing B. Thank you. Okay. Pocket. Important. Faux facts. A journal for keeping track keeping track of your faux use? Lost sprout mole. Aww, but look at him. A dangerous and hostile ugly plant creature. No, maybe he's so hostile because you're being mean to him. It says it is smart, but do not believe it. It is not. It smells like dirty laundry. No, Amori. Be nice. Toys? Right. Snaps? Tofu. Uh, soft cardboard, basically? He'll 
almost five heart. Tofu is not that bad. Just soak it in something that tastes good and it'll taste good. Berries? No. Roses? Watering can. These are roses. You, can you guess who they remind me of? They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? I didn't even guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration, orange roses symbolize passion, yellow roses symbolize friendship, and the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses, because he's versatile and universally loved. Aw, that's nice. What are these flowers? Ah, these are a type of flower called gladiolus. Uh, the gladiol... what? Gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. You, as you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values. Someone who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is that Aubrey is really stubborn. Hey, no I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling. You're destroying all the flowers. I like Mr. Sprout Mole. Oh, I see. This Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also means it has a higher chance of missing? Interesting. Okay. What does sadness do? Because I could make it sad. Hmm. See, I don't even want to, like change the emotions because I don't know what they do really wait what does hers do she makes people happy right uh hit oops wait what oops Kells makes them angry I won't do that Hero heals, right. Oh, what was that? What was that? <laughs> the text goes by so quickly that I can't tell what happens. I think there's an option to like slow down the text. Maybe I should do that. Uh... I'll just keep attacking because it's almost it's almost gone. Sprout Mole is rolling around. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm sorry. Why do all the Sprout Moles carry around tofu? Hmm. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry. What? Angry beats sad. And sad beats happy. Do I need to like write this down or is this accessible somewhere? Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. And sad beats happy. So if someone is sad, they attack stronger against someone who's happy okay good thank you hero <laughs> uh, here I even drew up a guide on how they work I'm no artist but I think you'll get the point I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later you got an emotion chart thank you do you want to look yes I do neat 
Um, so happiness increases luck, speed, but decreases hit rate. Angry increases attack, lowers defense. Sadness increases defense, but lowers speed. And does some dam- wait. Some damage to heart grants juice if you're sad. Oh, like if you're hit, you cry so you get more juice. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I'll try to remember these, but I will probably need to refer to it multiple times. <laughs> oh my gosh, does this butterfly want to fight? No? Okay. Cactus! Whoa, what are these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky, Cal. T Actually, Cal, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny that you ask, because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? Hey! Well... That too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible situations. Or conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Cal. <laughs> Whoa, neat. Cacti are awesome. Tulips? Ah, these are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous, just like Omori. I don't know, I just think it's cute. Why are there so many of these guys? Uh, not another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of this by now. No, he's not doing anything. He's sad. Hmm. This sprout mole seems a bit sad. See how it's curled up in the fetal position? Leave him alone! That means it won't do as much damage as normal. But it'll also take less damage to heart and will lose juice instead. What? But it'll also take less damage to- right, because it's defenses. How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. No! Leave him alone! I don't like this. Wait, what beats sad? Can I open my menu? Nope, I can't. Doesn't happy beat sad? Or does- no, sad beats happy. Right? Oh my god. I literally just looked at it and I don't remember and you can't bring it up when you're fighting. <laughs> what happens? I wish the game would let me open up my menu. <laughs> Toy, can I look at it in toys? No. Well, too late. We'll, <laughs> we'll just... Um... Hmm, I think happiness beats angry, right? So sadness beats happy. So that means anger beats sadness, I think. Uh... Wait, what? So if I make someone angry... Maybe? Seven damage. I think that was higher? Honestly can't tell. Although it's probably not a good idea to have Hero be the angry one because that like lowers your defense, right? There's so much to try and remember. Okay, he's gonna be gone soon anyway. 
Why are you bothering him? He's just living his life in the forest, being sad. Goodbye. Did we get tofu? Oh, everyone's growing to level two and learned... Hero learned massage? All right. <laughs> Okay. Wait, hold on. Let me look at the thing again. Happy beats angry. Angry be- Okay, I had it right. Angry beats sad. Sad beats happy. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll eventually remember. I'll eventually remember. If I can just remember the Hello? <laughs> if I can just remember the colors in like the triangular order, I'll be able to remember it. Uh, what voice did I get? Hi everyone! You all came just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything is already set up and I even brought some fruit. Epic. Ah, yes. Delicious fruits. I would like a delicious fruits. You and your friends feel like new. Munch, munch, munch. Woohoo! Thanks, Mari. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Aw, uh, Mari. I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. Uh, that's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you sure seem to make every everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Mari is so effortlessly graceful. Don't you think so, Mori? Sure. Ah. I guess I have to believe it a little if all of you think so. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Okay, I was like, I thought it was gonna like automatically bring me down. I want to save. Because I don't know how often the game will let me save, so... Basil's house. We're going to Basil's house. Hello? Uh... No one's gonna say anything about that? Okay. Oh no. Okay, I see why the- I see they- why they set up Mari <laughs> right up there. There's gonna be this big boss sprout, because we just killed all their children, right? We shouldn't have killed the sad one. Why'd we do that? Hold on, before I go in. <laughs> let me just... Let me just... <laughs> okay, yellow at top, red to the right blue to the left and it goes clockwise okay okay yellow red blue yellow red blue yellow red blue got it got it got it oh he's old wait are is he angry how do you tell Uh, anger beats sadness. So, happiness we want. Ye old sprout. <laughs> um. Pep talk. I'll use it on our healer. Oh, 
14 damage. 8 damage. You can do it! Wait, did I miss? I didn't even see what it said. Okay. Um, attack. Skill. I'm just gonna try, she can give a pep talk to herself. I'm just gonna try and have everyone be happy because I think that he's angry right now because he's red. It's just nobody told me. <laughs> uh, nobody needs healing yet. 16 damage. Eleven. Okay. What? Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry, we can do this if we work together. It looks like I'm gonna have to teach you all a little about teamwork. Let's try again, Amori. We'll get him this time. Did we lose? What happened? Huh? You notice anything different, Amori? You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with the number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack and you'll see. Okay. But now I... Okay. <laughs> now I need to use this again. Wait, what was your other skill? Massage. Removes a friend or foe's emotion. Okay. Neat. Whoa, what was that? Wait, what? I don't know what that is! Huh? What am I supposed to do there? I didn't even... Yes, I saw bubbles, but I couldn't read them. Did you see Did you see the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? That's called a follow-up. After you attack for a limited time, you can use energy to pour on a follow-up move. Just press any direction arrow and see what happens. What? I've also just realized that I'm subconsciously, like, not using <laughs> any of my emotion abilities on Amori. Um... Okay, I'll just... Oh, okay. Pass to... Uh, what? I'm maybe understanding? I don't know yet. Phew. Man, this guy's really tough. When he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. any more juice. Tack. Um. I'm not gonna do that. What does look at Kel do? What does that mean? Nice, we're full of energy. This is the perfect time to use our special attack. Amori, 
After you attack, press... Which direction? <laughs> I think it was down, but it doesn't even say! Come on, everyone. Let's show this big guy what we're made of. Alright, I'll just attack with everyone. What? What was that? Three hundred? Hello? <laughs> okay. A hundred and fifty experience. Fifty clams. Level three. Learn to stab. Okay. I wonder how often we're able to use that. I assume it's when you get like 10 energy, so... Hmm. And there you have it. Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. And I'm sure as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Uh, well, it was nothing. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger guys than that. I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Basil, I know you're not the type that likes to fight. But it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. You know, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can all study together next time. I'll give it to Amori to hold on to for now. You got self-help guide, okay. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide, so be sure to check it out every now and then. Omori, you should know. When we gain experience and level up, sometimes we'll also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. Oh no, it's like Pokemon? Am I gonna have to like change or get rid of some after you learn a new skill don't forget to equip it from the player menu okay okay good i thought it was like a replacement system and i was like i don't even know what any of the moves do how am i gonna know what's better than the other yeah yeah we all know can we go to basil's house now okay that's all i had to say Patience, Kel. Let us go! Do you live in a tree? Oh, you live in a shoe, of course. <laughs> My mistake. Oh, okay, I can't- no, I can't move. That, that, that wasn't me moving them. Say cheese! Aw, it came up kind of blurry. Well, that's okay. It, that gives a character. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind. I want to see it. Oh, sure thing. We all look so cute. How's my hair? I want to see. I want to see. I am here too. <laughs> oh, hey Amori, did you want to look at the photo too? It is a little blurry, but it is fine. It's too bad that it came out kind of blurry, but you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Woohoo, another shot for the photo album. Move over, Aubrey, I can't see. Hey, stop pushing! You already had your turn. Get out of my way, Kel! Well, wait, hold on, there's no need to fight. Me first! No, me! Can we not? Uh, stop it! You guys are knocking me over! How does that even happen? <laughs> 
Uh, whoops. Oh my gosh, Basil, I'm so sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is why the both of you need to learn how to get along. I'm sorry, I we didn't mean it, Hero. Please don't tell Mari. It's okay, D don't worry about it. Accidents happen. The photos, though! Here are your photos. It doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in your photo album together. Thank you, Hero. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. Wouldn't want to get any mud in the shoe house. <laughs> Is there anything like around here that I can look at first? No, it doesn't look like I can go around. Okay. I like the trees and the water with the roots. What a cute little house. Fireplace. The fire is warm. Books. Bunch of books. Mostly about plant care. <laughs> a bunch of potted plants and flowers. Basil loves taking care of things. And there's nice little candles. Nice. Are you ready to put back the photos, Amori? Sure. Yay, let's get started. Mm, darn. I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Omori has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll figure this out in no time. Oh no. I don't have a really good memory. What? Oh, there's only a couple that fell out. Okay. Um, this was second, correct? Uh, why can't I use like our, okay. I don't remember which one was next. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Right? And then everyone fell asleep after eating. And then it's this one. Right? Right? What's going on? There, good as new. Did I get it right? <laughs> Would it tell me if I did? I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. Even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise to never fight with Aubrey ever again. Unless she starts it first. Don't worry about it. I know you only wa wanted to see my photo of blah, 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 blah. I know you all- Why can't I talk? I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. Hello? Did you just toss that photo? Oh, you dropped it. Hmm? That's strange. A photo must have been loose. Huh, what's this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems so familiar. I want to see it. Show me the photo. N no. It, that can't be. Mari? Hello? What was that? I hear a heart beating. Meow? Not much to do around here, is there? Tissue box for what we sure. Sketchbook. Yes, did we draw anything else? Did something happen to Mari? Like, what happened? I saw him by the, the, the dock at the beach. He looked at me. You booted up your laptop. 
What would you like to do? Did I write anything new in my journal? Uh, nope. Let me just take a second to stare at the screen, recenter myself. Nice. Log off. The door is gone. Um, can I fight the hands now? Do you want to fight me? No, you just bring me back to the start. <gasps> Can't catch me. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, up. Nope. What am I supposed to do? Meow, or is there? Are you looking for a way out? Yes, I am. Can you tell me? Meow. There always is one, but... Waiting for something to happen? I don't like that. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> Look, I'm back. It's fine. Sketchbook. We'll look at it again. Uh huh. Can I? There's a thing that says stab. I don't like that. Self-help guide. Self-help book all about battles. Written by yours truly, hero. Oh. What would you like help with? Okay, never mind. What does stab do? I don't like that. Okay, well, I'm gonna stand away from the cat. I can only stab myself. Cat. Cat. Cat, I don't enjoy this. I'm going over here. All right. Look at all of us. These are all of our memories together. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? You see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? What? What do you mean, what's his name? What? Am I not a boy? I wasn't ready to have to name something. Why does it say Sunny? 
Is that the canon name? Uh, why do I need- why can't I just be a Mori still? <laughs> I could do my uh, name, but I don't really want to do my name. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna try just... One more again. It was all capitals, right? All right, never mind. I'll just go with what the game gave because I'm gonna assume that that's not like just a randomly generated name and is more of like a canon name. I don't remember if they were capitalized or not. I'll... Were they capitalized? Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Were they? We'll be capitalized Sunny. <laughs> okay. The boy's name is Sunny. Yeah, sure. Uh, do we have a message on our phone? Let's look at other things. Cardboard boxes are littered across the house. Bunch of books. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Well, it seems to be the middle of the night, so that's probably a good choice. Cardboard boxes are littered across the house. Ordinary houseplant. Nothing special about it. A wardrobe. A very, very comfortable bed. You are hungry. Why did the bed remind me of hunger? A table lamp. Huh? Hi, Sunny. This is a note from Mommy. I left some food in the fridge for you downstairs. It's steak, your favorite. Love you, XOXO. Thanks, Mom. An old computer. I already looked at this. Hey, Sunny, it's Mommy. I'm still in the city setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? The movers are going to be at our house in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry. Mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the lights might cut out sometime tonight. Anyway... I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be positive for both of us. I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzz. You are hungry. Let's go eat the steak. Where'd she say the steak was? I want a grandfather clock. They're neat. Okay. Pretty sure she mentioned, like, the kitchen. Wait. A bathroom. A bathtub. What? Hi, Sunny. This is a note from Mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Love you, XOXO. Some towels and toiletries. A toilet. 
How old are we supposed to be? That our mother has left us alone in this house. Assumedly. Are you sure you want to go downstairs? Is downstairs not a good place to be? Huh? I thought I was hungry. What? Are you scared to go downstairs? This note from mommy. I left some food in the fridge for you downstairs. Steak your favorite. Love you. Why will you not eat the steak? Eat the steak! Oh, scared of heights? Well, what? What? Or is there something scary down there? Wait, was this door here? Oh. Empty picnic basket. Would you like to save? Yeah. I would. Thank you. How kind. Oh, we have color. Mom's bed. The mattress is too hard for you to sleep comfortably. Bookcase has been cleared out. Some family photos. Table lamp. Boxes. 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 Plant. Fake house plant. Family photos. Boxes. Fake house plant. Did I get everything in here? Can I look at myself? Oh my god, this scared me! <laughs> Hello! Does anything happen if I stare at this? Okay. Uh... You feel dizzy. Maybe you can sleep it off. Does it just want me to go back to bed? Very comfortable bed. Would you like- Sure. If I'm not gonna eat my steak. Might as well sleep. Why are you awake again? <laughs> okay. Why does it look like this? Hello? An eerie red glow radiates from outside. You feel strangely drawn to it. Can we go downstairs now? Because it's illuminated? Where did the downstairs go? <laughs> um! Oh, I can't even go back up. You are hungry. Oh, it doesn't allow me to go up because I'm hungry. Hello, hands! Hi! Do you want to hold hands? This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. It's just a bunch of hands. They're waving hello. Hi. Oh, I can still move. Can we stop with this knife? It's for our steak. It's fine. Can you not, though? I just want to eat some steak, man. Gosh, now I, in real life, am hungry. Hello? <laughs> Afraid? No! What will Sunny do? What is this? Right? Do I have a skit? I have no skill. Can I uh, something? <laughs> yeah, let's hit the something. Eleven damage. So I need. Well, let's run away. Let's run away. <laughs> what if 
skill. Am I just supposed to die? Hello? Sunny? Can I run? No. I fell over, I think. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You steady yourself and remember how to calm down. Calm down. Yes, breathe. It is okay. You're fine. It's probably a shadow. See, there's nothing even there. You were fine the whole time. You got a first aid kit. Ordinary house plant. Photos. Okay. Why not go in there? Why can't you go in there? Is that not where the the the, the food is? Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe this house is just big. A fireplace. There are nails stuck between the bricks. What? That's probably a patio. Stained rug. Shoe rack. So that's probably outside. Don't point at that! I already have a knife for my steak. Thanks. You look in the fridge. You find cold steak. Take it? Yes. You got cold steak. You should probably heat it up before you eat it. Microwave. Put in the cold steak. Wait, how? Hold on a second. How are you using a microwave if the power is out? It's fine. It's fine. You got a microwave steak. Can I eat the microwave steak? Can I eat the microwave steak? Where's my stuff? Snacks? Did I did I already eat the mic? Maybe I need to cut the microwave steak. Pick up steak knife. Cut the steak. Ah uh, yes, a lovely, well done steak. Would you like to eat some? Yes. Uh... Oh wow, your cutlery is even like nice and wrapped up. It's like this is like a high quality restaurant dining experience. <laughs> Microwaved steak with the fancy china. Love it. What was the steak drugged? Hello? Oof, your stomach didn't agree with that. Why? It's just steak. All right, this, I don't like the wibblies, the wobbles. Books, what even is this room for? <laughs> Weebledy wobbledy. Can I go in that other room now? What about up here? Nope. What about outside? Nope. Back to bed. I don't like that when you move to the side it goes like super wibbly. You feel sick. Should I go to the bathroom? You threw up, buddy. Why is there a knock on the door? Hello? 
Sorry, no one's home. I'm sick. Which door? That door? The patio? Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Sunny, it's Mari. I'm finally back home, but I forgot my keys. Oh. Are you our sister? I didn't even realize. Could you open the door for me? No. I'll open the door. <laughs> Please be a person. Can you not be scary? Can you not do whatever it is you're doing? I don't enjoy that. Let's go back to bed. Let's go back to bed. Also, is Mari supposed to be, like, dead? Because Basil got all weird about Mari. Yes, I'll go to bed. <laughs> Why am I- okay. Hello? Oh. Welcome to what- oh, happy to be back. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. Wow! Happy to- happy- Waiting for something to happen. Did we draw anything else? No, nope, just just the same old the same old stuff. Did we write anything in our What? Hangman? Huh? Collect the keys to fill in the blanks. Incorrect keys will be discarded on the right. What? A in the grass near a stump? What am what is happening here? Are these like things that you have to collect out in the world between giant pinwheels? Collect the keys to fill in the blanks. Incorrect keys will be discarded to the right. Interesting. Do I have a way to like view these? In the grass near a stump. On a shrouded old bridge between giant pinwheels. Near cast off cartridge. Wet pillow, large frame, trap door. Okay. Press LB to open the hangman menu. Something fell nearby. Okay, so I guess I can just open that at any time. Right. I'm assuming there's something over here again. Nope. Am I mistaken? Did I not? Look, Mr. Hand, I'm just looking for whatever fell nearby.
What? You found a map. Okay. Well, there's the park in the center there. There's the stump that we come out of. Um, there's a castle, a pyramid, a whole, what looks like an underground area. Interesting. Press RB to open the headspace map. Okay. Send me back home. Thank you. <laughs> White door, faint shadow, open. So is this just like the place that we enter in our dreams? Is that what this is supposed to be? This is like dreamland, our headspace. Hello? Amori, thank goodness you're here. Have you seen Basil? We can't find him anywhere. We should go tell Mari you're okay. She's been worried sick. Oh, the cat watches. Hello. Sss. Going out of Mori. Here's your allowance. Two hundred. Thanks, Mom. sure about that. Hold on, which way was the pinwheels? Let me see if I can find a letter or whatever. It said between two giant pinwheels. But maybe that means like up on this island. Okay, we should go see Mari, right? But Mari is scary and I don't want... I don't want to go there. And there are bloody footprints. What? A. Thanks. 11 keys left. Hold on. In the grass near stump. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll stop wandering around. They didn't even say where uh, Mari is, but I assume at the park, playground, playground park. Amari, oh, you're okay. Uh-huh. Don't worry me like that. Where's Basil? He's not with you, Omori? No. I'm afraid not. The last thing I remember was sorting Fado f f photos with Basil in his house. And the next thing I know, I'm waking up in Neighbor's room with Aubrey and Kel. Neighbor's room? It's because Basil mentioned... Mari. And there's a photo. At least we found you, Amori. But I hope Basil's okay. Who's going to protect him if we're not there? Don't be such a downer, Aubrey. Uh, we'll find Basil for sure. You're absolutely right, Kel. It's at times like these we 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 when we gotta stay positive. Hmm. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? There might be something we missed. That's the spirit, hero. And as always, I'll be here if you need me. 
Okay, let's save. Save. And we are sketchy and black and white again. And uh, I think that's where we'll stop for this one. Um, we'll go try and find Basil next time. Things are becoming a little bit spooky, which is great. I love to see it. Um, yeah. Until next time. Everybody, uh, be good. There's a mirror down there. I'll look at that too next time. Uh, bye!